I'm just like confused at when I started looking like actually looking so fit like I have been working out but like just at home workouts and like eating really clean so I have no idea what's going on but I'm living for it look at these goodies deck of scarlet and scentbird which I tested about a year ago in Australia it's like travel size perfume it's really good quality and I haven't tried deck of scarlet out so I'm gonna try doing a makeup tutorial with their products and see how it goes so I got three scent birds and one of the fragrances that I really really wanted from the collection is the glossier one and I just absolutely love it because it's like so convenient and for me I never use a lot of perfume so these tiny sizes are the perfect amount because they don't expire I feel like it's just like the right amount that I need and this one is the glossier you fragrance which I was so excited to try out it smells so good then the next scent that I got is a surprise one that they sent me and it is the Molinard Molinard Violet Eau de Perfume. And then one more which was a surprise scent that they sent me is this Caswell Massey Centuries Verbena Eau de Toilette. I absolutely love the coloring packaging for these containers, by the way. Specifically, these two packaging colors. I think they're just absolutely stunning. It's like a nice champagne color and then a nice white kind of eggshell color. If you guys don't remember, Scentbird I reviewed, I think a year and a half ago almost, or even maybe a year ago when I was in Australia, and I really, really liked the product because it gave me the right size of perfume that I personally prefer. Unless you're someone who gets perfumes for the purpose of having them on display, if you're someone who just wants perfume for the fact of wearing it and not displaying it, then I think Scentbird's perfect. Or if you're someone who travels a lot and loves to have your perfumes with you without breaking the bottle, then it's great to bring on travel because it's not going to break in your bag. It's so easy to use and they have so many scents on their website. It's actually pretty impressive how many they have. So go check them out. I'll have them in the description box down below. But today I'm going to put on the Glossier one. So let's try it out. Oh, that was just one squirt enough. I also just finished filming a makeup tutorial for the deck of Scarlet that I also got sent so definitely go check that out on my beauty channel if you want to find out how to achieve this look. So I was at home working today because today was one of my working days and somehow I've ended up in, in northern Ontario at a retreat. I had my aunt came over and asked me to help move some stuff so that's why but I still did not expect to be in a cottage. I literally did not even have time to wash my face or fix my hair so I just look like I woke up. This actually is really nice. I like don't want to leave now. Pretty flowers for me. So I had to come into downtown Toronto today and it literally took me an hour to find a parking lot, like just driving through traffic. So I'm in the Eaton Center now, I got a parking space. So I'm just gonna walk around and meet up with my friends for lunchtime and then see where it takes me. I don't know, I need coffee. I literally took my first step out of the Eaton Center and this is like the first thing I see. I'm gonna have to get one for sure. I got a cinnamon roll and then I got a real gray tea with soy milk. I actually think how hilarious it is that my stress levels are like through the roof just from driving in Toronto. Like, no, do not recommend ever driving in Toronto. Always public transit for sure. So now we're at Nathan Phillips Square where they do like the skating and everything. Except obviously it's not frozen right now. Cool, I've never actually been here before. And this is my outfit for today.
just at Nordstrom Rack checking it out for the first time and oh my god, yes. It's literally like so pretty in here. It reminds me of like Cebu Ikebukuro stores that I used to go in when I was in Tokyo. Like that's the only thing I can relate it to, but yeah, I like it. Look at how amazingly grungy this mirror is. I wish I had it. It's so cool. Like, look at that. Look, you can get Bardot here, which is the Australian brand made in China, though. But that's so cool to know. I love that store. It was like one of my favorites in Australia. I've come to realize, like, after all my travels, that I have this weird taste and fashion of a mix between like Korean feminine style and Australian like feminine style. <laughs> also I think I've fallen in love with this Waif, Waif and Lilith, Lath brand? Waif and Oleith. They're like so Aussie and like cute and chic. Oh my god stop, is this my brand? <laughs> like. Bronwyn Papano. Okay, better be good. Looks meh. Looks really meh. I got pork miso ramen from Kinton Ramen on Bloor Street, and we also got gyoza to share. So today is the day after I went into Toronto and I also am getting my eyebrows touched up. So it has officially been like six weeks or seven weeks since I've had my eyebrows microbladed and she recommended that you wait at minimum four weeks before getting the touch up and the reason why you do the touch up is because some areas of the skin won't take as well as others so the first time like it's not going to be 100% perfect once it heals. So that is what I'm doing today. I have no eyebrow makeup on. So that is just what my eyebrows look like right like today. And as you can see, like it's not as aggressive as it first was, but it still looks really good. But there's just some parts that like didn't take like on the peaks and in the front. And yeah, so that is what I am doing today. <sighs> I'll check back in with you guys after I get it done. It should be fast, not nearly as much as last time, so it's just like a quick little touch up. I am all done getting my brows touched up. It was a lot faster this time because it was just a touch up, but they look even better than the first time. Like, how is that possible? Like, they actually look even better. And of course they're gonna get really dark again like they did last time for the first few days and then after they're gonna look natural but as per usual guys i'm gonna link her in the description box down below because i honestly like i think she's so good at what she does like she's just so good at doing eyebrow microblading and lashes so if you're in the toronto area just check her out but yeah anyway while my eyebrows get darker and darker over the next few days and begin the healing process i'm probably just going to stay in and work to be honest and hide away from the public eye <laughs> while i heal but i'm just going to go home now so i'll see you guys another day look at this finally you know it's spring and summer when all the flowers have finally started to bloom this looks so pretty about time i've been waiting like forever it feels like so pretty Look at these tulips. Are these even tulips? Oh my god, they're so pretty. Look at all of them. Stop. Beauty. I should pick some more. Time for big chill. Minnie found a stick. Yum. <laughs> wow. You guys, I don't know about you, like what defines your youth, but for me, Doritos is one thing that I was obsessed with when I was like young, kind of like early teenager, and same with cucumbers. This is like my breakfast, by the way. <laughs> 
like for some reason I just had zero appetite this morning whatsoever like I just wasn't hungry so this is not at all a balanced breakfast I normally would do but I mean it's something that I feel like eating so whatever so let me know in the comment section down below what your guys is like childhood or like early teenage years staple like snack food was it'd be really interesting to see it's the morning so my face is swollen and I have no makeup on and my brows are dark as they'll ever be but a lot of you guys recently have been asking for a workout routine update but like I don't want to film a workout routine because where I work out literally is <laughs> it's in my house but it's like my dad's old wood shop <laughs> so it's like a crazy mess and I also don't want to show it just because like personal reasons as well like it's my dad's old old wood shop and it's like got a bunch of like like personal belongings in there aside from like workout equipment so I just feel like it would be like a privacy reason why I wouldn't want to show it just because like that's his personal like collection and space so I don't want to show it for that like privacy reason and respecting others but I can do like a video just for an example of workouts I do the last time I did a workout routine video uh, showing how I work out was in Australia in vlogmas or it was just before vlogmas my workout routine has changed a little bit since then but I think it's mostly like diet and like the little changes I made that are showing such an influence on my body like it that's one of the important things with like working out and changing like how your body looks is like you can't keep doing the same routine over and over again and expect big results like you have to switch it up or else your body gets used to it so yeah so I think I'll do that later on. I don't know if I'll do it like in this vlog because this vlog's already going to be like long enough. But maybe in the next vlog I'll include a little like workout update for you guys. It's really not a lot. Like it's mostly diet. So as long as you have your diet on par and like to a T, you'll definitely see results. And that's the number one thing that I've always like shared on my vlog channel whenever I get um, questions about like workout and fitness, it always like comes down to diet. So you have to eat like really clean and healthy, like no pasta, you can have rice, but like, like stuff like that. But I also am really short, I'm only 5'2", so when I have like muscle or definition, it really shows, especially my arms. Like you guys are always like, oh my gosh, your arms are so toned, but like they're not. I actually never work them out. It's just the way that they're shaped since I've been born. I've always looked toned in my arms. Like my arms are the worst. I actually hate them. But anyway, brow update. This is just what they look like today. So they're the darkest they're going to be and then after this they're going to start to lighten up. It takes about two weeks for that healing process to go on. So so I just finished putting ointment on my eyebrows and here in Canada I use Polysporn Black which is like the most powerful like kind of antibiotic sanitizing ointment. So I have that sitting on my eyebrows for 10 minutes then I'm gonna dab it off really lightly. I do this for the first like three days after microblading then I start putting Vaseline on just because I want to limit the chance of any kind of infection. Usually they say you only have to do it for the first 24 hours but I'm like extra precautious so. And on the note of a swollen face in the morning if you guys don't watch my beauty channel I actually filmed a review video where I featured this massage tool and basically it helps to de-swell the face when it has any kind of fluid retention from sleeping and it helps drain lymph nodes so I like to do this to like get the puffiness out of my face when I wake up so you can just go like this and then down the neck to drain it all the way down it's called like lymph drainage when you do that because it drains the lymph nodes and glands so it really helps to get rid of swelling and I swell so much when I sleep there's different like directions you can go into for anti-aging effects too. Like my nose is one of the things that swells the most in the morning. Like I've always been like that my whole life. But this is the Laneige roller that I'm using. And you can see it in my Pyongkan Yule review video, skincare review video. Yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys because I forgot to notify anyone. But I did set my video explaining why I moved back to Canada to private like half a month ago because I felt like it was getting the wrong kind of audience and attention but I set it back to public because I feel like a lot of you somehow missed out on that video even though like it was up for like two months 
I don't know. So I feel like some of you didn't tune into my channel for a while and are tuning back in and being really confused. So I set it back to public so anyone who is confused can check back in on that. I'll probably set it to private again after a month or a little bit just because yeah, I really feel like videos like that can sometimes get the wrong attention even though that whole Shane Dawson and Graveyard Girl thing that went on has like really I guess open people's eyes about like people like youtubers struggling but I'm still a little unsure if I really want my channel to get too much attention from that video like I want it to be for the people who like really mattered and like the people who like were my constant viewers and not like people who just want to see people being upset if that makes sense so for my breakfast today i'm making a japanese tamagoyaki style omelet with a little bit of a twist so you need two eggs one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon roughly of soy sauce and then kewpai mayo like half a tablespoon and then i literally add spinach to everything i eat it's just how i am so i'm gonna rip that up add it all in and stir it all up and fry it on a pan in a omelet slash uh, scrambled egg style and kewpie mayo is a japanese style mayo that's really really popular and the reason why i add that instead of milk is because it gives a more creamy silky texture and then you just add a little splash of water to that as well about one tablespoon to give the same consistency as milk but just creamy and that is it like sweet egg tamagoyaki of course mine doesn't look like professional at all i just threw it together real fast but you know it's super tasty. Also, here is a fun fact. The first time I ever made tamagoyaki was when I was, I think, 13 or 12, and I got the recipe from a Sojo Beat magazine. If any of you guys remember Sojo Beat magazine, it's where you could read like translated manga. Do any of you guys remember Sojo Beat manga? I was in love with it, and that was like when I first read um, Meru Purdy, I think it's called, and Vampire Night. Oh my gosh, good times. I used to make my mom buy it for me because I was too embarrassed to go buy it myself and give out like that I read manga. Wow, so cute, Minnie, so cute. Creepy angel, creepy angel. Wow, what you do? What to do? Whoa. I'm like super upset because like this is how much my hair has grown in three months like I dyed it down to my roots and in three months it only grew like an inch like this is what I've been struggling with my whole life my hair just doesn't grow <laughs> come on hair like it just doesn't grow at all I can't cut it if you're like me and have really slow growing hair let me know in the comment section down below because like so many people are like yeah I get my hair cut like once every two months or once a month and I'm just like if I cut my hair that much, I will be bald in three months. Like, it would be to here. Also, I have to shower, so that's why it looks really, really greasy. But eyebrow update. Look at my eyebrows. So the peeling is almost done, and they've gotten quite a bit lighter, and they'll continue to, like, brighten up over the next few days. But overall, I'm really happy with them. And then like I found this Sailor Moon like sleep set and like I want it so bad like it looks just like Serena's stuff but it's like a hundred and freaking sixty dollars and I can't afford that at all but like I want it so bad my life would like be complete if I own this. Oh god I just setting up a swimming pool today. Oh me setting up this pool today. It's a really small one, but it'll be nice for the summer. Quiz lady, quiz, quiz lady. It's the craziest quiz. All wet and cooled off because she overheats so fast. Got to keep her cool with the water. Digging out our old swimming pool for the accessories, like the cover, because the old swimming pool has holes in it, and it's not very good. Look at our old toys. Look at how lush everything finally is here in Canada. Like that's the one beautiful thing about this country is that like once summertime and spring hits, everything becomes so lush and green and beautiful. I'm basically using like all my mental strength right now to figure out how to properly set up this pool. I'm connecting the pump system right now and there's like three different types you can set up and I'm just like, what 
it's like what i mean it, you think it would be really really simple but it's actually quite confusing because there's so many different types you can set up and i'm just like not really sure which one i mean i have to do this one but then i have to include steps from here and it, nothing is labeled correctly that there's no numbers on anything so it's just a guessing game so we finally figured everything out now we're filling it up and the water is so cold but i mean it's good and minnie's acting very dejected in the door because she was misbehaving yeah you are misbehaving girl stomping all over the pool being a very bad but she'll come out soon once the pool rises enough look at how beautiful the flowers are on this tree it's absolutely my favorite it gets berries too and it's just like the prettiest thing in the world it literally is like my favorite tree i think it's called maybe a mountain ash or something i can't quite remember but i'm so happy it's summer Are you gonna go in? No? What to think? What to think of pool a minute? Oh. I'm better curious. Okay. <laughs> okay, you cannot go in, you will drown. And because of our hard work, we ordered some Domino's pizza. Note to Australia, this is what good pizza looks like. Well, the standard for like North America. None of that weird, thick layered ham, if anyone remembers that pizza video. Like, I don't know what the heck this is, but this is supposed to be Hawaiian and this other half is supposed to be deluxe. And look at it. It literally is thin crust pizza with a heavy layer of shredded ham on it, like processed shredded ham and like pineapple and cheese with like no sauce. And then the deluxe was supposed to have like capsicum, onion, tomato, pepperoni and it and bacon and i mean there's one little piece of bacon in there i think and the rest is this mountain of shredded ham <laughs> sorry don't mind my gross looking plate but this is this is my pizza i was eating and literally you can see how thin the actual crust pizza bit is and how heavy this mountain of like ham is i didn't realize i ordered just a straight up like loaf of processed ham i thought i ordered pizza oh my god what a weird experience for me I'm just here looking at diamond rings as if as if i'm getting one like i always thought like buying your own diamonds would be so expensive but like some of these are only 1500 which is really like affordable if you put your money away properly uh -oh. The free bag of the Chicago style. Good vibes happening. Just bought this mosquito netted gazebo. And seeds for vegetables. So I'm back home from shopping. And the reason why we went out today is because I wanted to buy a gazebo, which you guys saw that I did buy. So now my sister and I can actually utilize our backyard in the evening and not get eaten alive by bugs. So there it is right there. And I'm gonna set it up right in this general area so that we can sit in it in the evening. It's finished. Yay, finally. Mm. This is nice. Look what came in the mail. It's a new mic for filming really high quality audio. It's actually good for ASMR too. I was actually thinking it would be really fun to do like an ASMR evening skincare routine video because I personally really like ASMR but not like creepy gross mouth noises more just like really like calm sounds so I think I'll do like one of those a month and see how it goes but I don't want to turn into like an ASMR channel. Good morning world it's really bright I can't see anything but I just planted some butternut squash, tomatoes, and spinach. So I'm hoping they grow. I didn't do it right at all. You're supposed to start them inside, but I can't be bothered. So I just threw them in the ground and watered them heavily. Let's hope. Our pool is all up and running and I finished my gardening for today. It looks good. I dove in cause I was like having heat stroke and it was like the most refreshing thing. I just love swimming pools and swimming it's like all-time summer favorite actually i love it all the time minnie is being very bad and keeps desperately begging for 
my cucumbers and pizza. She loves cucumbers, so I give those to her, but otherwise... No! This is very bad! <laughs> Why are you acting so bad today, huh? This gazebo, though, best investment of 2017. Like, even my patio that I had built in Australia was good, but this, like, beats it. I don't know, something about, like, being enveloped in nature, but being protected from bugs. It's like camping, like a tent for camping, but not. And Minnie has been joining me in the pool this whole time and she's completely KO'd from like two hours of splashing in the water. Every country I went to, Japan, Korea, Australia, they always warned me about the mosquito bites, but no mosquitoes are worse than in Ontario, Canada. I literally stepped outside midday in the sun and got bit twice. And in Australia, Korea, Japan, I got bit maybe once per summer. So my spinach has already started to sprout. These little tiny sprouts right here are all spinach all along this area. But I'm still waiting for my tomatoes to do something and I don't think any kind of squash will start for like a while. But I'm super excited that my spinach actually started to grow. I honestly wasn't expecting it to. And it's only been, I think, three or four days since I planted the vegetables. That's impressive. Minnie is just like running around our backyard after going in the pool to cool off. Watermelon and salt is the best. Are you sitting on my foot? Minnie, why are you sitting on my foot? And my friend who I haven't seen except for one time in February before high school, like the last I saw her was probably grade 12 in high school, came over for some drinks midday. So we just chilled in my backyard and enjoyed that experience. So that was really, really nice. And yesterday I did a hair video trying a new technique. So that will be up on my beauty channel eventually. Just doing a root touch up, like a root smudge is what the technique is called, or baby lights if you have longer area to cover. So we just had some wine and some drinks casually midday, which was really, really nice. Also, my butternut squash sprouts started to come in. So we got four, we had two before, and these two little ones right in the middle came up literally this morning. And then this morning, my cherry tomatoes started to sprout as well. But we had a big rainstorm like last night and quite a lot of my spinach sprouts looks like they died and only a couple are alive. But that's okay because I honestly was not expecting anything to grow. Hello you guys, it is a slightly chilly day today, but I have some goodies that came in. I ordered some products from The Ordinary Skincare. I finally caved in, so I'm going to take a look and see what the packaging looks like, and I figured I'd just open it up and share it with you guys. Here it is! So I got quite a few things, but it's such an affordable brand. Everything was like under $10, I swear, and it shipped yesterday and I got it like today, so one day shipping was insane. So I got a Marine Hyaluronics, which is a little bit different than just hyaluronic acid. I wanted to like step a little bit away from that since I'm already obsessed and have a lot of hyaluronic acid based stuff. So I wanted to give this a try. And then I also got the, their form of vitamin C because I wanted to also test that out and give it a shot. Then I got their cold pressed virgin marula oil because I wanted to try something other than my usual like argan oil and jojoba oils. I wanted to, you know, experiment a little bit. And then I got their salicylic acid 2% solution, which is a BHA. And then I also got their niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% because niacinamide works pretty well on my skin for the most part. It's a vitamin B derivative that's good for brightening um, dark spots on the skin. So I wanted to give that a shot as well. And then I got their lactic acid, which is a type of AHA plus HA, which I'm not too educated about. But yeah, that's everything that I wanted to try out from the brand so far. It's a lot of stuff, but like everything in total came to like $50, which is pretty good for that much skincare. I also really wanted to try their sunscreens, but when I was ordering, they still haven't launched them. And I just found out like literally today that they're coming out by the end of the month or in the next like week or so so I'm a little bit upset about that but by the looks of it it doesn't look like they're gonna have any SPF that's 35 above 
And for me, I prefer my SPFs for the face to be at least, like, at minimum SPF 40 and higher. So, um, I don't know if I would give it a shot when they do launch. We'll have to see what comes out and how my first impression goes. everyone today is a beautiful day here in Canada and I am going to shop around a little bit I'm here at HomeSense which is like a I guess furniture and decor store and I'm looking for a mirror and a storage bench for the end of my bed so I can store my winter clothes in there because right now in my bedroom I literally have three laundry baskets overly like flowing over with clothes that are clean that I can't put away because my room is just so small I have no storage space and those are all the things that I'm looking for today and I might shop around a little bit more as well I'm not too sure we'll see what I feel like and I feel like I'm fighting a cold because the past few days my voice seems really weak I don't know it's weird anyway let's go I found one which would be pretty good but it's in gray and it's 130 which is like the standard price I've seen everywhere and it opens up but I'm not too sure about the gray color so I ended up getting some stuff from home since I'll show you guys when I get home and my one ear is popped and I just can't like hear properly out of it but I'm in Michaels which is an arts and crafts store right now and they just have the best fake plants ever so I'm just looking around because it was right next door to the place I was previously at. So when I get home, I'll show you guys what I bought because I spent a lot of money, but money I've been meaning to spend on the things that I got for months now. So now I'm in Indigo, which is a chain of bookstores, and I'm looking for a book that I want to get called what's it called you do you and it's like a self-help book i don't know i think it would be really like good to read and i got recommended it <laughs> you can now get bl in canada what i thought that was like a japan exclusive or online thing that's hilarious literally the two books i need in my life you do you and get your shit together <laughs> Probably you're just gonna buy both of them. Nah, that's expensive. That'd be like forty dollars, cause Canada prices. Just this one, you do you. Literally, like the two books a broken person buys. But you know, I never buy books. Like I literally have not ever bought my own book. So here's a good start, I think. Also, there's live music here today, and it's so nice. There's someone playing a real harp, and that was literally like my childhood dream, and still is like my dream is to play the harp. I'm so jealous right now. Before, after. It's way too long though, so I'm gonna cut it maybe like halfway, because it goes all the way down to my bed, which is not okay at all. See, so yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it like half, halfway. But it was on sale half price for $24, so it was a really good steal. And then to secure it, I literally just twist-tied it <laughs> to the metal, like the original metal of my, I guess, lampshade where it was. And it just looks so much better. And here is the mirror I've got. I've actually been looking for a mirror pretty much exactly like this for a while now. But they were all like so expensive. But this one was on sale from 180 to 130 so i think that was a pretty good deal so i just couldn't resist i'm still not really sure why it was on sale because i think it's a like slightly warped but not 
that much that it's even really noticeable. I mean, I can see it like in this upper corner, but otherwise the majority of the mirror looks pretty like true in my opinion, but I absolutely love it. So I finally have one of the laundry baskets cleared out only halfway. <laughs> There's still two there. One's gone. But all my jeans are now in here. Well, not just my jeans. Every single pant and bottom is in here, which is convenient. Good morning. It's another day, and for some reason, I just can't seem to wake up and get my work done efficiently. But a package arrived. It's from LensMe. And it is the new Salotica lens line. I don't know why I thought I could lift it out of the packaging, but it's secured down. But I'm loving that everything is plastic free and kind of minimalistic. That's amazing. Rip it open. Oh, look, they gave Oreos. Just what I need, especially today. So there's a few colors from this line that I got. Does it say on the packaging? What color it is well anyway there's four colors in the new collection i'm so excited to try them out in upcoming tutorials i don't know if you guys can see quite in there but these look absolutely stunning it's like a crystal blue with a soft like greenish turquoisey center that fades to like a yellow oh, i can't wait to try these out that was the lightest one, I think, which is the Eye Panama from the Rio collection, and I got it in prescription grade. Nope, I was wrong. These ones are definitely the lightest one. It's like a pure, like, crystal color, and it's the Parati. Like, you can hardly even see it because it's so, like, crystal looking. This color is Coco Cabana, and it's like a turquoisey green shade. So pretty. This one is Buzios or Buzios, I can't pronounce it, and it is a nice, like, deeper turquoise green shade. Oh my god, like, all these colors are seriously, like, what I look for in color contact lenses. The thing I love about Celotica color contact lenses is that, like, the Hydrocore line is originally one year contact lenses so they last a year that you can wear them in your eyes so you can wear them in your eyeballs for one year after opening which i really like and i know i'm an avid user of the olens russian velvet series it's a one month lens though so it's a little bit more comfortable comparatively and <laughs> what am i trying to say i like both of them like, they are my top two color contact lens brands I've ever used. So for the past, I want to say, three years, I've only purchased Olens Russian Velvet and Salotica's. I just put the Copacabana ones in. They're like the mid-tone blue-green ones, so they're not super crazy vibrant or super crazy white out. And this is just what they look like in regular lighting, and pardon my makeupless morning face. I... Like, not looking my best, but that's okay. But anyway, these are just what Cog Copacabana looks like in my brown eyes in natural lighting. Mmm, bibimbap with raw salmon. So good. Lashes done. Today I got some goodies from Australia. Let's take a look at what it is. So, so far I'm happy that the packaging is so like um, environmentally friendly. Ooh, it's from Clara Cosmetics. My YouTube acquaintance from Australia, Cara Tran, she works for this company, Clara Cosmetics. And they're kind of new on the scene and really reaching out for an international audience and all their stuff looks so beautiful. So I got a lovely card and this is products from their Queen of the Nile brand. Look at how pretty all these shades are. They are absolutely perfect for summer. So I got that palette and this lovely lip color and a dual eyeliner and eyebrow pencil. So definitely excited to try out this brand today i am going to i think it's called the cheltenham badlands 
to get some photos and check it out and do a short little hike with my old high school friend. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, kind of, just to take a peek. And basically what it is, is it's a erosion deposit of terracotta clay in the terracotta color and then the white clay and it looks really really cool it makes it look like you're in a desert or on mars so i'm really excited to see it i had no idea it was i had no idea something like that was so close to the gta the greater toronto area so i'm really excited to check it out got some goodies in the mail today so I ordered a few like three dresses from hello Molly because I haven't updated my dress collection in like five years Woohoo! let's try them on and see how they look so this is the first one super glittery like a little back but the glitters are like falling off everywhere it's a really delicate dress but it's so pretty it's pretty loose around the midsection which kind of makes sense though because it's such a low back with like no support but i like it next is this dress which i saw online when i was still living in australia but it was so expensive but now it was on sale so i finally caved in and bought it so cute and it fits perfectly and the last one is this party glitter dress i honestly have not owned a glitter dress since i was like 11 years old and went to like a wedding so adult life upgrade basically and if anyone is wondering each dress that i got is in the size extra small for Australian and UK sizing. So I guess I'm like a Australia dress size six or something like that. It honestly feels so good to like update my wardrobe and a dress collection. Like I actually have not bought dresses since I lived in South Korea three years ago and I only bought like two. And then uh, for clothing, like I haven't in almost two years until now. <laughs> What, Minnie, what? Why you bark at me? Good morning, everyone. It is the final week of June and I have some exciting things to share. I wasn't able to share it before, but basically today, uh, Glamour Magazine published a video and article of Lily Reinhardt reviewing my video as well as other girls and it was for a Lily Reinhardt inspired makeup tutorial that I filmed a year ago or maybe even like a year and a little bit ago but yeah it was on an older video but apparently they filmed a few girls videos of her reacting to them and sharing her opinion and then thanking us and giving her insight on what she thought of the videos and it was really really cool so glamour magazine wanted to interview me and surprise me with the video and see how i reacted to it and then have some words to tell lily reinhardt as well to show her us like thanking her and stuff like that so yeah i shared it to my instagram today twitter and facebook so i'll link it down below but i'm not going to insert it in this video but yeah that was basically the most exciting thing that has happened in june and i'm really looking forward to july because it's my birthday month so yeah anyways i don't have much planned for the end of june it is the canada day long weekend coming up in a couple days so i'll be going to a friend's cottage but i'm not too sure if i'll film any of that just because you know private stuff but if i don't film it then thank you guys for watching this month through my eyes i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for tuning in this month and a little update on my vegetables i am growing the spinach did not survive the tomato is going really really slow and the butternut squash pumpkins i planted a month ago are taking off they're like vines everywhere so yeah anyway i'll see you guys in july